insight into what we represent. Losing the whole context of what the NHS would call and right close, what, what the essence of those services <laughs> rely on, and that's people, that's actually people. Living, breathing human people who live in this community and we all, at some point in our lives, are going to need support, whether that's for the financial kind, whether it's because our health fails, because perhaps things go wrong in our lives and we have an episode of mental ill health. We know that um, we're all vulnerable to that. The, um, the Health and Social Care Act that was introduced in 2012 has been one of the major factors that has led to the situation that we're in now. Having worked in the NHS, I know what the consequences of that have been. Working locally, I could list lots of services that we've lost because of uh, local authority budgets, and then how the NHS has had to uh, be able to manage the need that still exists, but less services to provide it. And it's wrong that we are penalising people and families and children and young people who desperately need services, especially early intervention around emotional health and well-being. And, Thank um, you. Thank you very much. Um,